cars all over the place in a turn number three. Cloninger going to be your leader in the M34. Langford sits in that second position. Here comes Haskins in the white 23 trying to make moves. He's up to third. It's Dale Bennett. He's dropped back a couple of spots from the lead. Langford's got a mirror full of Austin Haskins. Haskins put the bumper to Langford in turn number two. Good battle for that second spot as Austin Haskins. Where has he come from? All of a sudden, that driver to Lawndale, North Carolina, he is all over Travis Langford. Langford can't, can't hold on. Oh, the front wheel flyer all over the place. They would have keep it straight now, but had a moment there in four. That car was all over the joint. As Langford now falls back to third. Haskins up into the wall, going to open it back up for Langford. Langford going to get it down low. Meanwhile, Scott Cloninger keeps that M34 machine owned by Chris Meadows up to the front. He's continuing to step away from the rest of this field. Langford able to step out. Oh, the service center of Gaffney caution flag. Get a fly. 67 machine of Jay Husky. Going to bring out the service center of Gaffney caution. Bennett, third and fourth. Green flag presented by Mad Designs back in the air. They rock it off a turn four down the front stretch. Field working their way around. Haskins continues to lose a couple of positions under attack from Dale Bennett that time. Langford finds himself back in the second spot. Ryan Howard in third. Dale Bennett now. He's going to pass Haskins for the fourth spot. Haskins not happy with that race car all of a sudden. Scott Cloninger continues to guide the way in the M34. Again, we typically see Chris Meadows in that car. That car hand-painted by Robin Caldwell, the last car Caldwell ever hand-painted. Of course, we miss Robin every day at the racetrack in the racing community. Lost him a couple of months ago. He was an artist, tech man, and more here at Cherokee Speedway. Right now, the laps continue to click away. Cloninger, still your leader. Langford trying to see if he can pick up some speed, find some magic to get to that top spot. Five laps remain past the halfway mark. Oh, one car up into the hill. That was Clayton Selig in the Hot Wheels car. He keeps it back rolling. Selig said he's not afraid to trade a little paint. Best battle on the tracks in turn four. Evan White in the 70 car looking underneath Dale Bennett. Bennett started on the pole for this feature. Has not had the night he needed in the first handful of laps here. So Hornets Nest back there. So, oh, Haskins now mixes it there. Remember, Haskins at one point was in the top few positions. Evan White may be off the pace, may have a problem in that 70 car. He is losing position pretty quickly. Three to go this time at the stripe. Nothing's changed except now Langford tries to make a big move in one to gain some position. Cloninger right now remains about four car lengths in the lead. Cloninger, you got to wonder if he's just riding. He's a veteran. He's won many races here before. Popsicle sticks that time. Two more circuits around this racetrack. And Scott Cloninger, he'll be crowned our third winner of the evening, this time with the Smoking Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme 4. Langford, he's been strong this year. He's picked up multiple victories in weekly racing here at Cherokee. you got to be thinking, does he have a rabbit in his hat, a trick up his sleeve? White flag this time by for Cloninger. Scott Cloninger out of Blacksburg, South Carolina. Making it look easy. It's a Wednesday night, but he's on a Sunday drive through three and four. That M34. The racing Richard checkered flag is going to fly. Scott Cloninger tonight, Smoking Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme 4 winner at Cherokee.